Hey guys, Taylor with Game Edge here, coming at you with a pre-market video for January 10th, 2024. Starting things off like we always do, looking at the SPXP, all expirations are turned on. Things to note here, our transition zone is the same as yesterday, 47.45, 47.50. Just a reminder, within this zone, just think of it as the chop zone, really nothing to do here. Above 47.50, we are inclined to look upwards. First stop being 47.60, second stop being 4800 these points are consistent with zero dt we'll get to in a second thing to note here that jumps out is this 4765 bit of a delta gamma node here meaning you know in a sea of red a sea of green we're seeing red so that's something to be cognizant of there maybe we get some stalling there not sure just things to note below 4745 and we 4700 is negative gex time frame we are in the money call in the money out of money call in the money call dominated both above and below spot price for so this is constructive for progression higher you know think things to note on this on this time frame now zooming in to zero dt again transition is the same as yesterday same on the spxp we just talked about to the upside 4760 target one this is plus gex target two is 4800 this is coi as we've been discussing the last couple of days, if we do break above 4760, we want to see this plus GEC shift higher, ideally up to 4800 to give us a nice natural target. You'll see here right now we are all green up to 4780, then in the money put start to kick in. However, if we're able to break above 4780, just note the net OI is predominantly call dominated. So what this means is that all these deltas will flip from, all these call deltas will flip from what are zero right now to closer to one since it's zero DTE, which would flip all these deltas positive as well which has downstream impacts on the dealer's book and how they then have to if our books going closer to zero their books going closer to negative one then how do they get their book back to zero okay they got to buy so that is potentially one scenario today be cognizant of that if we do see some steam pick up higher one way we can monitor that steam is through our market trend model just looking at this you know we did have a continuation day yesterday after a trigger day the, the day before so in the short term we are constructive however we did see a bit of stalling here yesterday uh, in the afternoon so bulls do want to see this pick back up absent any kind of net new buying in the market we're just left with participants that are fear of giving back profits from this recent rise up so that's why it's important to see kind of you know continuation base then a continuation higher is is what we want to see today see right Rounding things out real quick here on zero DT below 4745 at 47.35 is downside target. Again, just said in the on net net, we are in the money put dominated above spot price, in the money call dominated below spot price. Looking at the 1DT structure, a bit funky just given the negative GEX is up here at 47.70. I will note, you know, looking at the landscape view, we can see transition zone is more around here, which is 47, 45, 47.50 consistent with all the other time frames we've looked at. Nonetheless, 47.80, this is plus GEX and COI on this time frame. You know, in the money, out of the money does look call dominated, kind of mixed above spot price. You know, things, things to be cognizant of here. Let's look at rest of the week. Rest of the week uh, looks similar related to zero DTE structure same transition zone same plus gex same coi same minus gex so yeah really you know kind of game 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 plan today seems clear to me next week it's like a four-day trading week again so far less constructive by that i just mean i'm just looking at kind of what net it looks like above and low spot price is call dominated 47.60 is top of transition 4800 looks like a very important strike as well so uh yeah so hopefully that's helpful again just recapping zero dte transition zone same as yesterday side targets 4760 4800 but more importantly perhaps is we do want to see the cumulative tick continue to, to press higher so with that best of luck out there today and we'll talk to you later bye